Let's look at the wideband oxygen sensor. This cross-sectional diagram represents a wideband oxygen sensor threaded into the exhaust manifold. It's a planar or flat design with a heater element. It has a Nernst or sensor cell. It has a pump cell that pumps oxygen into or out of the monitoring chamber. Exhaust gas flow into the monitoring chamber is metered through the diffusion gap. When the engine's running at a stoichiometric mixture, the pump cell is inactive and the Nernst or sensor cell is producing the desired stoichiometric signal. When the engine is running lean of stoichiometric, current is applied to the pump cell, forcing oxygen ions from the monitoring chamber. This forces the Nernst or sensor cell back to a stoichiometric signal. When the engine is running rich of stoichiometric, negative current is applied to the pump cell, forcing oxygen into the monitoring chamber. Again, it forces the Nernst cell back to a stoichiometric signal. A varying pump current is a useful signal in mixture control. Some sensors will produce a signal voltage of 1.5 volts at stoichiometric operation. Lean operation will produce a positive pump current and a rise in signal voltage. Rich operation will produce a negative pump current and a reduction in signal voltage. Here's a system schematic illustrating the heater circuit with a switched ground pump cell, Nernst or sensor cell, and trimming resistor to optimize the sensor to the application. Sensor operation is normally viewed through a scanner with a number of parameters available. When viewing sensor data, lambda may be displayed. Stoichiometric mixture results in a lambda display of 1. Rich mixtures lower the value as low as 0.75 while lean mixtures increase the value as high as 3.999. During stable engine operation, signal voltage will tend to be steady, while toggling of the pump current could signal bracketing of the desired mixture. Here is scan data showing desired lambda and actual lambda, and we see a desired lambda of 0 0.998 with the actual values bracketing that closely this is a port fuel injected engine running smoothly at stoichiometric ratio Here's the sensor voltage from that engine, bracketing 1.5 volts. Zooming in, here we have lambda and sensor voltage. Initially, operation is normal at stoichiometric or lambda. Then a vacuum leak is introduced causing the lambda value to increase, indicating the leanness, and we see that the sensor voltage also increases. When the vacuum leak is repaired, there's a reduction in lambda and sensor voltage values. This indicates momentary richness. Then we see a recovery back to stoichiometric. Scan data 
for a GDI engine that's bracketing stoichiometric mixture offers new parameters. Equivalence ratio can be considered lambda. Negative pump current indicates an engine running rich of stoichiometric, while positive pump current indicates an engine running lean of stoichiometric. Pump current could rise to as much as 2 milliamps in an extreme lean or rich condition, so this engine is bracketing stoichiometric closely. Here is a schematic diagram of an air fuel sensor with a ground controlled heater circuit and a sensor circuit that produces a signal of 3.3 volts at stoichiometric. While the sensor signal at stoichiometric mixtures differs from the previous example, the response to richness or leanness is similar. Here is scan data for sensor signal voltage on an engine operating at stoichiometric mixture. Signal voltage remains very close to 3.3 volts. Zooming in, this engine is running slightly rich of stoichiometric mixture when a vacuum leak is introduced, causing a rise in signal voltage. When the vacuum leak is repaired, a momentary rich condition causes a significant drop in signal voltage, then a recovery back to the previous mixture. Sensor performance is normally monitored through a scanner, but the following waveforms illustrate that performance. Sensor signal voltage at stoichiometric mixture. Sensor signal positive and negative voltages at stoichiometric mixture. Sensor heater duty cycle will be as high as 100%, but will decrease as the sensor heats up. Here, scan data shows a heater duty cycle of 45% on a hot engine. These waveforms show heater circuit feed and duty cycle ground. 